right, ladies and gentlemen, so much is made of the partnership between Rock Nation and the NFL. A lot of people weighed in on it, uh, and it seems to be uh, two different camps. Some people that think he did uh, something that was going to be noteworthy, and some people did something, believe he did something that was self-centered. I uh, personally am a big fan of Jay-Z's. I have watched what he has done um, socially and consciously. I watched uh, him work both uh, up front and behind the scenes to change the narrative. Uh, and those are noteworthy. So I can I can't question what he's doing. Much like I can't question what Colin Kaepernick did. What the thing that seemed interesting to me, they they seemed to draw into two camps. And one, if you liked what Jay Z was doing, you had to dislike Colin Kaepernick. And if you liked what Colin Kaepernick did, you had to just like Jay Z. I think both of those men deserve credit for what they've done and continue to do. My question has never been to question him, but I, I think, you know, people said, Well, oh, oh, you know, Colin Kaepernick took the settlement. What was he supposed to do? He couldn't, the most powerful man in the world stopped him or in part was responsible for him not being able to get a job. A lot of NFL owners said we're not going to risk Donald Trump uh, calling us out on Twitter. So the president, you, and, and, and courts were not going to let him call the president of the United States and, 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 and be deposed. The, the Mueller report couldn't even do that. So they'll be damned if a black athlete's going to do it. So I have no reason to question his motives. Much like Jay-Z, I have no reason to question his motives. He's been exemplary and done things that he did not have to do. I have every reason to question the motives of the NFL owners. You are talking about a group of men who believe things about black people, who believe things about the men and people that they, that, that they own. And I, that to them, it's no, if I can own black men, I can rent one. That's no, there's no difference for them. Their motives have never, ever ever been in question they know what it is i want you to be silent when they have black people what they want from you is obedience and silence that's what how you serve if they don't need to have uh jay-z and 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 uh, the nfl have a partnership for social justice and entertainment they talk to the people in power all the time that many of them have had uh you know uh, dinners and and fundraisers uh for donald trump have been in his presence they have been in mayor's presence. They've been in pol- Jerry Jones, who owns the Dallas Cowboys. If he wants to get to the police chief on the line, he could do it. If they want to do something about what they saw as injustice, they could do it. They, they're with those people all the time. They give them money. They keep them employed. They get them elected. They don't need Jay-Z to have a conversation about social justice. But that's never been the conversation. What they want is silence. They want your quiet. They want you to be distracted. They want, they bought, anybody can own an NFL team. If you have the money, you, you, anybody could buy an NFL team. Why him? It's a lot of billionaires. What they want, what does he have that other people who have the billions of dollars necessary to buy a team, what does he have? Influence. And what is influence for them? Silence. I want you to shut up and play, and I want the rest of the country to not be distracted, to keep doing what we do. We read a report earlier where it talked about the Super Bowl halftime was down significantly, and they believed in part because black people were not participating. That's what I need. You know why these owners are so good at this? Because they've been doing it forever, for decades. These are mostly 80 and 90-year-old white men who've learned how to deal with black people for a long time. This whole thing reminds me, there was an uprising in a a plantation in Louisiana, Germantown. It was very successful. They they got these people together, these slaves together, and they started going from plantation to plantation. What happened was somebody told on them. Somebody told them and gave the owner the owners a head up, and they were able to stop that revolt. And they marched all the leaders of the revolt out. They beheaded them, and they left their heads on on pikes for everybody floating the, down the river to see. They also brought the slaves out so they can watch what happens to somebody who displeases them. You know what happened to the man who helped them? He was rewarded. He died of old age. Both Colin Kaepernick and 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 uh, Jay Z ha- they have something to say. The NFL uses both of those people for a narrative. This is what happens if you don't do what I want. This is what happens when you do. There is no doubt that both those men have been influential in a conversation that this country needs to have. And what the owners are doing is trying to stop them from having it. They don't want it to be had. What they want is for you to go back and watch their games and be quiet. They want silence and obedience. And this is the way they have always done it. It shouldn't be about what uh, Jay-Z is doing or what Colin Kaepernick has done. They have, I, I have no reason, nor do you, should you, have any reason to question their motives. Question the people who are involved on the other side. Question the people who are pulling the strings. Question the people who only want you to speak when you're talking in glowing terms. If I can get Donald Trump to come out to a fundraiser, I can talk to him about social injustice. 
If I can have the police chief in my luxury box, I can talk to him about police brutality. These people are locked into our communities. And the reason that sports has always been used as a drive for social change is because that's the only time they ever listen to us is when we're singing, dancing, jumping, or running. If you, I think that the NFL care much about social justice as Donald Trump did about ASAP Rocky. What I want is your silence and your obedience and your money. And I want you to break your bodies in service of my entertainment. And then I want you to shut up. Silence is golden, and so are deals that are made with men of ill intent.